Gary from Mr G Shave, back for another Wednesday straight razor shave. I haven't even looked to see what uh, number this is. I'll put it up there somewhere. What what straight shave it is? It might be 15 or 16. Um, so yeah, uh, what am I using today? I've got some new products in the den, as you might have gathered from my thumbnail or the the picture at the beginning of the video. Um, Today, software-wise, I'm going to go with Pears as a pre-shave, Pears soap. First new product to the den. Um, I, th I used Lemon Mint from Goodfellas Smile. Um, it was either last shave or the shave before. And I got quite a lot of comments from people saying that they'd not really used it or not really tried it or they saw the price and didn't think it would be up to much. Um, so I decided to invest in some more soaps because I only had the one Goodfellas Smile soap. Um, so I have bought another three soaps, which you will see over the next month or so. Um, this one that I've chosen today is called Inferno. So there it is there. Brilliant uh, label, I think. Um, it's supposed to give you a nice warm feeling. When you open the tub, it has a plastic has a plastic sort of lid inside which is actually quite difficult to get your fingernails under if you bite your nails or if you cut your nails short um, and that's that's it there oh there's actually a, a little tab I've just spotted it <laughs> so so if I show you that there's a tab there to pull it off I didn't know that but there you go those have only these have arrived today beautiful scent I had to look it up um, I bought these based on their scent profile so I have got an idea of what the scent profile is um, it is smoky fragrance with a olfactory pyramid opening with saffron and rose easing into a sandalwood leather and cedarwood heart all sat on a sweet base of patchouli amber and musk so there you go <laughs> it, it, it's quite a complicated soap, I would say, um, but smells absolutely brilliant. The scent strength on this, I would say, is a five, a solid five. So I'm following that up with my trusty Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, and then. I haven't used this in a while and because it's got um, amber in it I decided I'd use this to to pair with the soap I didn't get the accompanying splashes I like to try the soaps first before investing in the splashes and I may or may not I don't know so this is Bart's aftershave lotion amber and Moroccan jasmine so here we go that's it there very small bottle and it's I think it's quite an oily, an oily type of aftershave, quite different. And I've lost the lid, but I've I've got the same pairing with Bart's Bart's aftershave. Again, the Moroccan amber and jasmine. <coughs> Sorry, amber and Moroccan jasmine um, aftershave balm. So, on to the next new product well no actually I'll, I'll start off with the bowl you've seen this bowl before beautiful hand hammered shaving bowl I like to call it but I know it's used for other things in Turkey um, so the next new product is my Phoenix shaving amber aerolite this is a beautiful brush just look at that it's you can actually see straight through it translucent and there's sort of a pattern, a smoky pattern inside. And then it's obviously got a, a tuxedo style knot on the top. I believe it's 24 millimeter, but I love this. Absolutely love this. I'll show it to you again because I got my fingers right in the way that time. Uh, oh, and that's on the bottom. So which way is it that way up? So there you go. <clears throat> so that's from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, next on the list of newbies, it's the final piece. 
This is a George Butler, I forget, this is either six or seven eighths straight razor. It's almost got like a French point on it. There it is, and I'll get in close so you can actually see. It's got a key pattern on it. And it's a special hollow ground. Um, and if we go on to the actual handle itself, come on. Let's go back here. And then come in on the handle. There's the, what's on the handle. So, yeah, so that's what I'm using today. So as usual, I'm gonna get myself ready and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, put the pre-shave on. I'm just gonna whip my fingers down, just rub this in. Almost lather it up. So it gives a good slick base for the soap to go on. Dry off the hands. Uh, dry off the hands on it. Let's go straight in. Get the bowl, get the brush out of the bowl full of water so my hands are wet again. So let's see how this performs. Make sure I've got it in camera. I've already put the, I would say this is a croak. Wow, look at this, it's going straight into a decent lather straight away. This is a, it's a great value um, shaving soap and a great performer. Um, I would say it's up there with some of the best soaps. Um, oh, now the scent strength has increased to about a six. Definitely, really nice. I can see where they're getting the warming sensation from. It's, it's almost le like getting a warm hug when you smell this. Right, let's add some water and see how it performs. And it's just exploding. But it still needs more water. I mean, when I say it's exploding, look, it's already coming out the side of the bowl now. in here very easy to lather this very very easy to lather I've put in I would say probably a couple of dessert spoonfuls of water and that is about right um, this is looking pretty good well hydrated for for a straight razor shave this brush is performing very well and that is I think ready for the shave so put some more water on I'm liking this brush straight away. There's a bit of backbone to this. More backbone than some of my other synthetic brushes. But this is beautiful. It's got a nice diameter head on it. You know, it, whilst it's a fairly narrow knot, um, it's the diameter of the head, the way it splays out, is really nice. I think that's ready for the shave. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right. Let's go for this. Dry the hands now for holding the razor. First time I've used this razor. Recently purchased from John June. 
So spine on the head, bring the blade down. Beautiful. Nice and sharp as you'd expect. He's obviously honed this on his new honing stone, stones, I should say. <clears throat> right, Alan, make sure it's, it is much more important that you stretch with um, straight razors. This is really nice. Really, really nice. Trying to get the soap off the shank. <clears throat> So, first side done. More Adam. Doing a sterling job. Absolutely sterling. Wow. What an edge, what an edge. Ha. Don't ever get overconfident with a straight razor. I just went to grab it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm hoping that will just stop of its own accord. All I did was I had it like that and I went to grab it like that and I just caught the edge of the blade. Right. Hardly felt a thing. Brilliant. Right. Let's uh, get this lather off the cloth that I used to wipe off with. So I hope everybody's week so far has been a productive one. Um, and that we're now all looking, looking forward to the downhill towards the weekend. It's always an uphill struggle at the beginning of the week. But, uh, yeah, just look forward to the, the weekend now. In many ways, I look at it, you know, the, the week is split. There's only really two days in the week where you feel a bit down. And as the week progresses, you go up with the two, two days of Monday and Tuesday where you're still in the first half of the week. And by the time you get to Wednesday, you think, oh, 
Friday and the weekend is on the horizon and you start to sort of liven up and have a bigger smile on your face or more smiles on your face as the week progresses. This is really nice. This, this brush has actually got a lot more backbone than most of my other synthetic brushes so you can feel the resistance when you're painting onto the face. So very good. That's a positive in my, my opinion. Right, so against the grain, straight up on this side. So nice. There's something about using a straight razor that just appeals to the animal instinct in you. <clears throat> I love the look of this razor, I must admit. Love it, love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> so I'm trying this new technique. That's much better, it's easier to handle, that's how I hold it. And then I just come across. <clears throat> so I prefer that to the old method of trying to go backhanded, sort of like that. It just, that felt awkward. Tell you what, there's next to nothing left on here. <clears throat> More Adam. Excellent. That, I mean, okay, it's not BBS that side, or not quite BBS this side, but it's very, very comfortable. Or very, very close to being BBS, not comfortable. It is very comfortable, the razor itself. So, I think the George Butler razor it's from the 1700s, no, 1800s, I think. I think that's what uh, John told me. So, um, yeah, beautiful looking razor. All the razors I have, I enjoy. They're all a thing of beauty. They've all got a history behind them. When you think who's used them in the past, um, you know, what stories that razor would be able to tell. Uh, you know, just incredible, really. And it's a privilege to be able to use razors that were made to last, you know. 
I'm not saying that modern razors aren't made to last. I'm not saying that at all, but you know, there's so many things nowadays with inbuilt sort of time limits, um, mostly electrical items and so on. I mean, you think about it, you buy a, a camera or a laptop or something electronic like that, and within six months, it's out of date. <clears throat> Um, and within a couple of years, you probably find you'll either have to upgrade, upgrade parts or repair parts. It's sort of, yeah. So, let's go with the against the grain. So comfortable. This edge, John, if you watch this. is stunning. That's BBS. <clears throat> BBS. Lovely. Oh, lovely. This is one of the best shaves I've had, in my opinion. Certainly straight razor shows anyway. My friend Adam. I've got that look, I've got that much lather on my hands off my beard. Just tried it with my left hand there. I think I prefer doing it with my right. I'm left handed, but I've got so used to using my right hand to do this bit. Very nice. That's me done pretty much. I'm going to do a touch up pass, but I don't think it's, I think it's one of those shows where, <clears throat> I don't know whether it's even necessary. A little bit there, but that is essentially the best show I've had. <clears throat> That's the closest I've got to a completely successful three pass show without pickup. <clears throat> I'm just going to go, just want to trim up the beard a little bit. I noticed one side was getting down here, was getting a bit wider than this side, so I had the trimmer to it um, 
just before the shave. <clears throat> right. Should have got that bit. It has. <clears throat> On that's got that bit so that's me three passes and a pickup done that is the closest shave I guarantee that is the closest shave I've had with a straight razor in my experience so stunning shave I could almost call that BBS yes there's the usual spots and if I ever want to pick those up I've just given up now I just do it with um, a DE um, just to just to get BBS but to be fair and to be quite frank on a Wednesday I don't need to be BBS certainly on the weekends when I'm trying to impress the girls <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't I? Yeah. I wish. Anyway. Right, I'm just going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, back for the post shave. I've actually already put the aloe on and, and done the cold rink, rinse and I was talking to the camera for about two minutes and then the camera shut off because I hadn't pushed record. <clears throat> It's a regular occurrence with me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just wipe this off and talk a little bit about the soap. The soap, the Goodfellas Smile uh, soap, Inferno soap, scent strength five out of the puck, six when it's on the face. Oh, that's so nice. I'm going to put some more on. Um, <clears throat> slickness, excellent slickness. It's not the slickest soap that I've got, but it's got plenty of slickness for a straight razor shave. And if it's got plenty of slickness for a straight razor shave, it's got plenty of slickness for a DE or an SE shave, without question, or a shaveette. <clears throat> um, I love the scent. The scent profile is right down my street. It, it's, it's what I would call an in-betweeny for me, um, which is funny because I would use this, this, um, this scent in the summer because there's something about it that, that I could easily use this scent in the summer. Really nice. Um, right, let's go on with the Witch Hazel, Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. <clears throat> talk about the brush well that 
really impressed me. Really nice brush. The you know I love the fact it's a 20 more 24 millimeter <clears throat> there, but look at the, the way it splays on top. That's stunning, and it's got plenty of backbone. When you when you're wiping against, you know, when you're painting onto your face, there's resistance there. It's really nice. <clears throat> I'll put that there for now. Put it in the rack in a minute. Right, on with the Bart's aftershave lotion, which is effectively an oil, I think. Um, if somebody knows any different, three squirts of that, but it feels and looks like an oil. And there's certainly no alcohol in it. But really, really nice scent. Goes very well with that Inferno. Very, very well. <coughs> On with three squirts of the balm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my Wednesday shave done. So, um, plans for the rest of the week, obviously head shave on Friday. Not sure what I'm going to use, it will be a DE though because of what I'm using on Saturday. I've had a subscriber request from Kim and she wanted me to do a face shave with the leaf with the, with the multi blades in it. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to compare it to the leaf twig. So one side will be a face shave with the normal standard leaf and the other one will be with the leaf twig, it's baby brother. And we'll see how they perform against each other. I think I know what the outcome's going to be, but you know, I I'm not going to make comment or voice my opinions until the day of the shave, really. So that's the Saturday shave. And then um, Andy's asked me to do a couple of uh, Battle of the Blades, so those will be on Mondays. So there's at least two he's asked for. Um, so the Monday after the Saturday shave, I will be doing a Battle of the Blades um, and I'll give you more details either on Saturday or on the, actually on the day. But there we go. So, so that's the plan. So it's um, bye bye from me <clears throat> and bye bye from the George Butler straight razor. Absolutely stunning shave. Love the look of this razor. Thank you very much, John June, for offering this to me. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, if you get another one like that, I'll probably be interested. Although, as I've, as I've said on a few occasions now, that I've I've been waiting on a Wade and Butcher to come onto the bay, and I finally found one that I'm really interested in. Um, so I've got a fairly large max bid on that. Um, and I've got um, a, a Drew Dick on its way, which I would think would be another month or so, maybe longer. Um, but whenever it arrives, it arrives. You know, I just can't wait. <laughs> but that's going to that's gonna cost a fair old chunk of money. So I'm, I'm trying not to buy too much at the moment. So... Uh, so it, but I have just gone and bought three soaps and a new brush. So, you know, I say these things and then go and buy other things. So anyway, so that's me. I'll see you on Friday for the head shave. Bye for now.